Hello! In this video tonight, I'm going to make a 2D Unity project and I'm going to animate the picture using bones. So let me open up Unity Hub and let me create a new 2D project, car bones, for character bones, okay? I just downloaded Unity 2021.1. Alright, now let me just add in a uh, the sprite or the picture that I want to use. And this picture that I just dragged and dropped in, it has a transparent background and it's a PNG. Okay, so the fact that it has a transparent background, it means how you see, you could see the background of my Windows desktop against the picture. That's what I mean by transparent. You could see it in the sprite editor, it's transparent background. Now for the sprite, what I want to do is I want to add some bones so that I could like animate the sprite. So I'm going to do here in the sprite editor, which this is a window that I opened up by clicking on sprite editor. There's a menu here that says skinning editor. So I'm going to select the skinning editor. And now I have this menu here with bones, geometry and weights. So to create a bone, um, let's see, let's press create bone. And then over here, we'll double click. And we have the dot to start adding bones. So I'm going to add the base of the bone right here at his hips. And then I click to, I right click on my mouse to start adding the bone. And then I'll have that bone come up to just be his body. Okay. And then I'm just going to have a bone here and here to be the, these two arms. Now, when I want to stop adding at this point, I could do a right mouse click instead of a left mouse click, double click. I'm going to add one here to the face or a left click. And then I turn it off. Then I'm going to add one that go down here for his legs. So I'm going to click. I just want another bone over here. Let's add a couple of bones to the tail. Now the geometry is somehow Unity is going to have to know like where the picture is. I know we see it with our eyes, but Unity is going to have to kind of mesh it out. So I'm going to do auto geometry. And these are some settings for the auto geometry. I'm going to leave them with the default and say generate. And it kind of meshed out something. And it looks like it kind of put this tail together with these feet. I don't know. I'm not going to do that now. Now the next thing is to have the bones and the geometry associate with each other. So each of these bones is going to have a certain amount of an effect on the geometry around it. We could do that with auto weights. So I'm going to click auto weights and I'll say generate. And actually when I did the geometry, you could see here that there's color for the, um, this is the red bone. And around the red bone is the color red, which means that's what's going to affect. Here's pink. Um, here's the blue is going to affect the legs. And that's how you can tell like what part of the bones is going to affect what part of the picture. What I want to do is make sure I apply it. And then I could close the sprite editor. I could always come back to it by pressing sprite editor. And now I'm going to put this sprite in the game scene here. And I'm going to give the pink panther something for 2D animation. Let me make sure that the 2D animation package is here. It is. I'll find it. Hold on. All right, let me try it. I find the 2D animation components and I want to add a sprite skin. So I click that and now I have the sprite skin. Now here we don't, we don't see the bones that we have on our, from the sprite editor yet, but we could just say create bones and now we see the bones. So now what I should be able to do is move a bone if I just select one and I should be able to move the picture like this, like this. Now we did see that the tail was kind of connected to the foot with the geometry. So when I do move this tail, it's going to stretch out the foot. Let's go back to the pink panther. And is there a reset pose? There you go. You can reset it back to the original. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.